Hello students, our today's topic is use of logarithmic tables. This is our fifth video based on the topic. In this video, we are going to learn how to find reciprocal of a number by using reciprocal table. Let I introduce you the reciprocal table. The table starts from 1.0 and it ends into 9.9. .9. Next columns are starts from 0 and end into 9. The last part of the table, that is the mean difference part, starts from 1 and end into 9. Here you can see, student, the pattern of a reciprocal table is the same as that of a log and anti log table. Only the difference while using the reciprocal table is that mean difference have to subtract. Here, at the top of a mean difference column, they mention that mean difference have to subtract. So, while using reciprocal table, remember student, we have to subtract mean difference. One more thing that you have to remember while using the reciprocal table is that the given table, it starts from 1.0 and end into 10. So this reciprocal table is applicable for finding the reciprocal of a number in between 1 to 10. So what happened if the given number is greater than 10? Let's understand how to find the reciprocal of a number greater than 10. For that, let's take one example. Find reciprocal of 29.98, which I express as 1 divided by 29.98. As you can see, student, the given number is a two-digit number. So for the use of a reciprocal table, I have to convert the given number in the one-digit number. I convert the two-digit number in the one digit number by expressing it in the power of 10. So I mention the number as a 1 divided by 2.998 into 10 raised to 1. When I multiply the 2.998 into 10 raised to 1, I get the original number as a 29.98. The conversion of the number in this form is known as a standard form. Now, student, I transfer the 10 raised to 1 into numerator, which will become as a 10 raised to minus 1. Now, let's find out the reciprocal of a 2.998. For that, I consider 2.9 in the very first column. Along the 2.9 row, I observe value under the 9 column. Along the same row of a 2.9, I observe the mean difference under 8 column. And that mean difference I subtract from 3344. Four. So the value is comes at 0 0.3335 into 10 raised to minus 1. Now multiply the given number with the 10 raised to minus 1. So value is 0 0.0333. Now let's find the reciprocal of 0 0.0335 which I express as 1 divided by 0 0.0335. So first thing that we have to do, that we have to convert the given number in the standard form. So I convert the number as a 3.335 into 10 raised to minus 2. When I multiply the given number 3.335 to the 10 raised to minus 2, it will give me the original number as a 0 0.03335. Now, student, I transfer 10 raised to minus 2 to the numerator, which will become 10 raised to plus 2. Now, let's find the reciprocal value. For that, let's consider 3.3 in the very first column. Along the 3.3 row, I observe the value under the third column. Next to that, along the 3.3 row, I subtract the mean difference from the fifth column. So that value is comes out as a 0 0.2999 into 10 raised to 2. When I multiply the given number to the 10 raised to 2, I get the value as a 29.99. This, this value is the same as that of the value 
whose reciprocal is 0.03335. From this, we can say student, reciprocal of a reciprocal is the original number. Now student, let's consider one more example. Find the reciprocal of a 0 0.5986, that is one divided by 0 0.5986. That is 1 divided by 0.5986. Now, for the use of a reciprocal table, I have to convert the given number in the standard form. So, I write the standard form 1 divided by 5.973 into 10 raised to minus 1. Whether the conversion is correct or not, how I can verify, I multiply the given number with the 10 raised to minus 1. So, that should give me the same number as 0 0.5973. Next to that, I transfer 10 raised to minus 1 to the numerator, which will become 10 raised to plus 1. Let's find out the reciprocal value. For that, I consider 5.9 in the very first column. Along the 5.9 row, I observe value under the 7 column. Then I subtract mean difference along the same row under the third column. So the value is 0 0.1674 into 10 raised to 1. When I multiply given number by 10 raised to 1, the value is 1.674. Let's solve for numerical example. Two resistors of resistance 22 ohm and 33 ohm are connect parallel in a circuit. Calculate its equivalent resistance. Given R1 is equal to 22 ohm, R2 is equal to 33 ohm. Formula. Equivalent resistance when the two resistors are connected in a circuit is given by 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. Let's substitute the value. 1 upon R is equal to 1 upon 22 plus 1 upon 33. Now, before I use the reciprocal table, I have to convert the given number in, in the standard form. So I write the given number as a 1 divided by 2.2 into 10 raised to 1 plus 1 divided by 3.3 .3 into 10 raised to 1. Next to that, I have to transfer 10 raised to 1 into numerator. So that will become 10 raised to minus 1. Now, student, let's find out the reciprocal value of a 2.2. As you can observe, student, there is no further digit after 2.2. You have to observe the reciprocal value of 2.2 under zeroth column. So which is 0 0.4545. Similarly, observe the value of 3.3 .3 under the zeroth column, which is 0 0.3030. Let's substitute the value. We have 1 upon r is equal to 10 raised to minus 1 in a bracket. 0 0.4545 plus 0 0.3030. Now, student, I need to add these reciprocal values. When I add these reciprocal values, we have 0 0.7575 into 10 raised to minus 1. Let's multiply 10 raised to minus 1 to the given number. The value is 0 0.07575. Now, here, my requirement is not 1 upon R. My requirement is R, that is the equivalent resistance, so that I have to find the reciprocal of the value 0 0.07575, so that I need to convert this number in the standard form. For that, let I express the number in the standard form as 7.575 into 10 raised to minus 2. When I multiply the given number by 10 raised to minus 2, I have the number as 0 0.07575. Now let's find out the reciprocal of the number. So that R is equal to 10 raised to 2 divided by 7.575. Let's find its reciprocal using the reciprocal table. For that, I have to consider 7.5 in the very first column. Along the 7.5 row, I observe value under the 7th column. Next to that, I have to subtract mean difference along the same row under the 5th column. So the value is comes out as 
R is equal to 0 0.1320 into 10 raised to 2. When I multiply 10 raised to 2 by to the given. Now multiply the given number by 10 raised to 2. So you have the value R is equal to 13.20 ohm. So the equivalent resistance when the resistors are connect in the parallel is given as R is equal to 13.20 ohm. Numerical for practice. Find focal power of a lens if its focal length is a 20.5 centimeter. Formula focal power P is equal to 1 upon F, where F is the focal length. Let's substitute the value. P is equal to 1 upon 20.5. Let's find out this focal power and comment in the comment box. Student, do like, share, and subscribe my channel. Thank you.